Wondering how this shifting market might affect your business? I'm gonna give you five things every agent should know, the good, the bad, and the ugly in a shifting market. Now when markets shift, a lot of times what can happen is, is there can be a sense of uncertainty. And when you aren't sure about what to do, the natural tendency, human nature just tells us, just to pause, just to wait to figure out what's happening. So what I wanna do is give you some assurance. There are some of us that have been around for a long time, been through some market shifts, and although every single time it looks different, there are some patterns that you can use to your advantage so that you can gain market share in a time like this. Can we all agree that no matter what the market does, there are certain people that grow their market share. There are certain people that fade out of the business. What I wanna do is, is I wanna tip the scales in your favor where that you can take advantage of this and grow even bigger in a time when a lot of people are retreating. The first thing that happens a lot of times is people want to just deny that a change has happened. Change is constant. There is one thing we can count on is that things are gonna change and especially in a shifting market. So how does that affect your business and what are the things that you need to understand? No one ever grows and goes positive by just drifting. It's purposeful. What are the things that you need to understand that maybe you did in the past that maybe you're not going to generate the same results they did into the future? Maybe you have to understand that some of those deals that you just got, maybe now you're going to have to work a little harder for those things. What is it in your business that's working effectively? You Really, this is a time to understand the change that you need to make. A lot of times, is simply doing more of what's working in your business and cutting the fat out, the things that aren't working in your business. When things are good, we just tend to just go with the flow because things are working. We don't want to make any changes. Now's the time to understand business plan. Understand what works in your business. Understand your strengths. Play to those strengths. Make sure you understand that things are going to change and make the change faster than anyone else. Number two is this, ego is going to kill a lot of businesses. Boy, I, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but if you are at a place where you are still going out there and just proclaiming, I'm number one, I'm the best, I'm telling you, not only was that tired back then, it's extremely tired right now because as things get more difficult, as sellers are looking for someone to give them some direction, buyers are looking for someone to give them solutions, the last thing they need is to see you bragging about what's going on in your own world. What they need is they need solutions for their problem. So let's get your ego out of the way. Let's understand this. Your pride and your ego and your ability to change as we talked about before, all of those things come from a place of humbleness. My favorite book puts it this way, pride comes before the fall. I'm gonna give you my version of that. Um, humbleness comes before the rise. If you want your business to grow right now, humble yourself, become a student of the game, understand the business more. If your ego is telling you, oh, well, you got this, it's no problem, you know enough to get by, Humble yourself and go and learn more. If your ego is telling you, wow, you had a great year last year, understand what happened last year is not necessarily what's gonna happen this year. Come from a place of understanding that your humbleness and your willingness to serve other people is going to pay big dividends, especially in a shifting market. Number three is the influence of the people around you is going to be amplified. You know, we have that old saying that the five people you spend the most time with is who you're gonna end up being like in the future. Well, think of it this way. In a time where there is stress involved, people will show you who they are. The people you have around you, are they growth-minded? Are they a person that is really focused on trying to help you grow and not just focused on themselves? Evaluate who it is you have around you. Do you have a broker that's been through this situation before? Do you have a coach that has been through this before and can give you direction? Do you have someone in your corner that not only knows what's to come and how for you to be able to take advantage of that, but some Someone that has your best interest at heart. Now is the time to make sure your click, the ones that are around you, that is what's going to determine where you go from here. Make sure you've got people that are focused on the things that you want to be focused on. They're focused on growth, they're positive, and they're heading in the right direction because if you spend time with people, you're going to drift in the direction, good or bad. Number four is that in times of adversity or times of change, there is a flight to safety. And what do I mean by this? Listen, consumers now want to know that they have someone they can trust. They want to know the group they're, they're, they're putting their, really their livelihood of their house, whether that be a purchase or a sale in, that this is someone that they have a trust in. This is where 
brand makes a difference. And I'm just talking about company brand. I'm talking about your personal brand. But let's start with the company brand. You need to be somewhere when, when people think of your company, they think of trust. When you think, when they think of your company, they think of professionalism. When they think of your company, they think of someone that is going to add value and have their best interests at heart. Now let me take it down to the to your individual level, your team level, or your individual agent level. They need to know that they have someone that comes across as professional. Listen, if you've gotten a few deals a year over the last few years from your friends and family, you're out of business right now. You've got to step your game up. You have to come from a place of professionalism. When people are not sure about what the market's, what's happening in the market and they know they need a professional, they're going to fly to that place of safety. Be that place of safety. Be the person that's producing the most content. Be the person that is out there and that is doing the most work to add value to consumers. Here's what happens is, Although you may have done business even with people in the past and it's been good, they're going to look in the time of things changing and uncertainty, they're going to look for the person who's giving the most value right then. Make sure you're that person, that professional that's out there and that you're the person that they go to when they think of going to safety. Last but not least, in times of change, players are separated from those that are pretenders. Every single market cycle, there are people that are winners and there are losers. And let me just say this, there are a lot of people that, have, that the market's made look extremely good, all of us to a certain extent better than we are. Make sure you're not a pretender. How do you know that you're a player? You're someone that understands the market better than anyone else. You're someone that spends the time getting coached up, getting trained, spending the time investing in your business in a way that if someone asks you a question about what's going on in the market, you can absolutely give them a professional answer. Are you a player or are you a pretender? Listen, if you've been a pretender, it's okay. The market's given you the ability to be a pretender and get away with it for the last few years that time is over. Now's the time for you to step up your game. Be the person that you were created to be. Be the agent that your people need. Be the professional and I promise you're going to stand out from other people. Change creates opportunity. Always remember that there are going to be some people, as we've said in this video before, that are going to thrive in this environment. Be one of those people. Be the person that is ahead of the curve, so to speak. Understand the changes that are coming. Make the changes faster in your business. Become more of a professional than you've ever been. Add more value to the marketplace. And I promise, not only are you going to survive, you're going to thrive in this current market environment. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful and I'll talk to you soon.